Hello and welcome back to the FIFA 22 My Team series. So, in the last episode we started off and we made two new signings in Bryce Samba and Hadji. And so now we're going to move on to halfway through September, hopefully, in this episode. So to start off today's episode, we've got a game against Preston North End. So we are going to quick sim this and it is going to be a... 2-1 win to us, Barton getting the winner in the 84th minute, Earl getting a goal for them and Schofield scoring the opener for us. So now heading into a Carabao Cup fi fixture versus Harrogate Town, been getting quite lucky with the draws, but we have had to rotate the squad a little bit due to fatigue from the championship season, the beginning, so we're going to quick sim this, hopefully we'll win. It's going to be a 3-1 win. It's convincingly done, even with our second side. Hadji, Schofield and Moore scoring for us, and Muldoon scoring a consolation for them. So now we've got a game against one of the strongest sides in the championship, West Bromwich Albion. So they've got some great players like Snodgrass, Grady Diangana, um, and they've got five at the back. We've had to rotate quite a lot because a lot of the squad is feeling very fatigued. And we've got a very small squad here at our club. So we're going to be simming this one and jumping in and out of it. So we're going to kick off. We're going to try and play it around the back and try and get an early goal, which we are trying to do very well. Like the right back that we have, passing it over to Brian, over to De Riddler, our 58 rated centre mid who's here because we can't. we have to rotate. Over to Brian, back to Bamba, to De Riddler, oh, Red, De Ridder, not De Riddler. Uh, over to Brian, over to Waddle, Waddle with the shot, and it's already 1-0 here against West Brom at Albion, so we're off to a great start. So now West Brom get it back underway, they're trying to play very fast here, and they're already up to our, our end. So they try to save it, but it goes out for a corner, and... and Number 23, Snodgrass brings it in and over to, who's that, Ayaji, and it's out for another corner, so, and it's nearly out, and it is in, Samuel Ayaji has scored against us, and 13 minutes into the game, we've got an exciting game on our end, so we're going to jump in now, over to Brian, to Riddle, over to Azinkwe. As in, as it were, I don't, I'm not looking at the name, I'm just going to say them however I want to say them. But over to Brian, over to Humphreys, to Waddle, to Azikwe, to Waddle. Back over to Humphreys, Humphrey with the finesse shot, but Sam Johnstone, a goalkeeper who's way too good for the championship, keeps it out. So we're going to whip in this corner, Yandel's going to try and get on the end of it, but he doesn't. And now West Brom are going to try and give a counter-attack our way. So over to Townsend, to Mawat, back to Snodgrass, and and we just have to try and get it here, but we do get it from as a result of a poor cross. Now it's over to Waddle. I'm gonna try and lift it over the top for Humphreys. Now Humphreys just has to run. He could sweat it, but I'm not a loser, so I'm not gonna sweat it. And that's another good save from Johnstone. So it's a corner. And it's going to go over to Waddle. It's on the line. And the and Johnstone punches it into his own net. But it goes down as Waddle's goal. So we are 2-1 up in the 22nd minute. West Brom now on the edge of the box. West Brom are going to try and play it into the box and try and get a shot off here. So now they're just trying to play it around the left, the right wing. But now we get it. So... We are going to try and start a counter-attack here. It's over to Brian. But that is a poor pass, and it's over to Clark for West Brom. Humphreys tries to intercept it, but he only does half a job. But per oh no, it's, and Perkins gets it off of them. Our second-choice left-back, who we've had to play centre-back due to cuts in the squad because there's barely anybody in our team. We only have ten million pounds to spend. So now Zinque brings it in. Waddle tries to get it. And now it's a corner. So 
We're going to try and bring it in here for Waddle. But it just goes back to Brian. Over to Azinkwe. Over to Brian again. And over to the West Brom player. And over to Yandel. Over to Barton. Barton is just going to run with it. He's pretty tired because he's been playing a lot of our games. But it's just just poor passing, to be honest. And now West Brom have it back again. So now West Brom trying to form a counter-attack. Callum Robinson here. That's a good shot and an even better save from Bryce Samba here. So now West Brom have themselves a corner. So Snodgrass, he's going to bring it in, but that's a pretty cool poor corner. So now we're going to counter-attack here with De Ritter. So it's over to Bamba. Bamba's just got a free goal here, looking him in the eyes. He just has to win the sprint race. Bamba, and it's in. And that's his first goal of the season. I think he's a rotation player. Let's check who he is. He is our second-choice centre mid. But now we're 3-1 up, so I feel confident with that. So we're going to jump to the result, and it's going to stay like that. Oh, look at this. We're top of the championship, and Waddle is getting a goal every game at the moment. So he's had a great start to the season. So hopefully he can carry this through to the whole season and help us get promotion. So now we're at the end of a very boring transfer deadline day. Nothing happened. No ins, no outs. Oh, Jamie Vardy's gone to Real Madrid. Aubameyang's gone to Bergamo Calcio. I don't know who they are. Uh, I think they're like Atlanta or someone. But yeah, but anyway, we're done with transfer deadline day. Now let's go to our next game. So now we have a game against one of the strongest teams in the championship. Recently relegated Sheffield United, as we get a rare achievement in the background. Um, so they've got a pretty strong team. They've got Robin Olsen in goal, who I don't believe would want to play in the championship in real life. Oh, wait, he, had, he, he is playing in the championship in real life. I don't know why he made that career call. But anyway, we're going to quick sim this game. And it's going to be a 1-0 win to us, surprisingly. We were the underdogs and we won. So Lay coming off the bench to become a hero in this game and scoring the winner for us. So now moving on to our next game, which is against Reading FC. So they've made a lot of summer signings in real life, including a Crystal Palace defender. I think it was Scott Dan or somebody. I don't know. Um, they also signed Danny Drinkwater and someone who was tipped to be the next Messi but failed. None of them are playing in this game, but, but anyway, enough rambling. Let's see how we go. So in this game, it is going to be a 1-0 win to Reading. So Swift scores in the 71st minute for them, which means they have gotten a win over us. And I think that means Fulham are now going to be top of the table. So now we've got our next game, which is against Birmingham City who have signed Troy Deeney, and they also signed Tahith Chong on loan from Manchester United, So, but he's not playing at all. So we're going to sim this match and jump in and out of it because we haven't done one of those in a little while, so we'll do one now. So so Birmingham are going to Birmingham are gonna kick off. Sorry for saying Birmingham. I sound like I'm American. But anyway, Birmingham kick off, and but we immediately get it back. And we lose it once again. And now it's with our right back button. And oh, well, I'm, I, I can't tell the players when I'm in, in jumping mode. But anyway, let's pass it up here to Waddle. Waddle over to Hadji, but that's a poor pass from Waddle. Even though he's been in fine form this season, I still get the right to call him out on, his, on the, those crappy passes he's been playing. But anyway, they've got it now, and Troy Dean has got it, and he passes it to Jekowitz, but that's a great save from Samba, and he's on the floor, it's offside, didn't really need to do that, because we already had the ball, and we were progressing up the field just fine, but anyway, we've got it here with Hadji, Hadji's just going to run to the opposite side, or not, he's going to pass it to Ezekwe, over to Waddle, Waddle's going to have the shot, but that's a good save from Etheridge, the former Cardiff goalkeeper. And so now Parker's going to take the corner over to Ezekwe. Ezekwe's going to pass it to Brian. I'm, I was meaning to fake shot it, but, but Hadji just loses it. And now Birmingham are uh, trying to do a counter-attack, but it doesn't work. So now we've got it here with Hadji. Hadji with the finesse shot, but that's a, a 
an easy save from Etheridge. So now they're going to build it up again over to Bella. We need to get it from with Barton here. Now slide in, but that's a pretty poor slide tackle. And now it's over with Gardner. And now Barton has it, but that's a poor pass. But it's over to Parker anyway, over to Barton. Hadji has it now. And now we've got it here with Waddle. Waddle's going to keep sh going with it, but but Dean gets that very easily. So now they're on a counter-attack. Djokovic, I'm guessing he's going to pass to Dini, but no, he passes to Sanchez instead. He's going to slide in, but that's a poor slide. Back to Sanchez. Sanchez is going to shoot, but that's a great one-handed save from our goalkeeper, Bryce Samba, there. So now the corner is whipped in by Birmingham, but Samba gets that convincingly. So we're just going to go on a counter-attack with Bryce Samba, as funny as that sounds, but that doesn't work. So he needs to get back quickly before Birmingham get a shot off. But they don't. So Bella's got it, but we intercept that with Barton. So now Waddle just needs to run. I don't think he has the best speed, but the Scottish striker just needs to work his guts off to get it down the field here. I'm gonna pass it back to Barton, but he's got he's a good, he's got a great shot on him, but he's not the best at passing. Well, at least not in this game. So we got it back here with Schofield. Schofield over to Brian. And Brian gets dispossessed easily by the Cardiff defenders. We have just been poor with our passing. Or well, what do I mean, we? I'm controlling them. But but that's a poor pass from Bella, like one of the worst passes I've ever seen. And as I make a bad pass, so that's pretty funny. But that's a good shot and an even better save. And now we've got a they've got a corner. So Gardner's going to whip it in here. For Roberts, but we head that away. Not too far as it reaches Woods. And back to Sanchez. Over to Djokovic. And Bryce Samba has kept us in this game so many times. And he's just making it very difficult for Birmingham to get past us. As that is a poor header from Troy Deeney. I don't understand why Troy Deeney went to Birmingham City. He was he was one of the first choice strikers. Oh wait, no. There was nine strikers at Watford. I thought he was going to stay, but he went back to Birmingham. But anyway, Ezekiel's got it. And Hadji's running. Hadji with the header. And, that, and you got to admit, that's a poor save from Neil Etheridge. It, uh, just an, not even an attempt at a save. But Hadji just goes and boxes the cameraman. That's not very nice. But still, we're 1-0 up now. So we're going to sim to the end of the game. And it's 2-1. Waddle finally gets his goal in the 83rd minute. Djokovic gets a goal in the 37th. And so, yeah, we continue our great run of form. So now we've got a game in the in the Carabao Cup against Newcastle United. This could be where our run ends or we could get past them. They've some Ronja from Olympic Marseille in the summer. And so we're going to be quick simming this game. I don't expect to get through in the cup, but we'll see well, how we go. It's one all, and we get through on penalties. Don't know how Santiago Munoz and Ron Ronja, their new signing, missed penalties. And we've just been superb here. Like, Hadji gets a goal, and Dom and Dummer gets sent off, and Ronja also... Wait, is that... He got a green card. How did he get a green card? And Ronja scores as well. Just a shame he couldn't do it on penalties. But anyway, let's move on to the next game. So now we're against relegation candidates Coventry City. I did a series with them that only lasted two episodes because I couldn't figure out how to get good quality on the video. But I've given Waddle and Hadji a bit of a break. They needed it because their stamina was really low. Hopefully with Humphreys and Smith we can still get the win. But we're going to quick sim it and it's going to be a 2-1 win to us. Humphreys and Parker get the goals. Giorquez... Rounds up, starts the scoring in the fifth minute, and w and then we did a comeback, so that's good, and we're still at the top of the table. Okay, so now for the final game of today's episode, we're going to be facing Bournemouth, who are fifth, we're joint top of the table. They've signed Gary Cahill, I forgot Gary Cahill went there, but who else have they got? they got Pearson, Lerma and Cook, probably one of the best midfields in the division, um, we're basically unchanged from the previous match, except Waddle and Hadji return. But we're going to sim it here, and it is going to be a 2-all draw. So Parker getting a brace, 
and Christie also getting a brace for Bournemouth. So yeah, anyway, that's going to be the end of today's part of the My Team series. If you want more, just let me know. I think I said this in the first episode too, but I'm really enjoying making this series, so there's probably going to be more. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.